Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today in this tutorial we're going to show you guys how to solve matrix equations using Gaussian elimination. So to do this tutorial hopefully you guys would have done Gaussian elimination on solving um, two variable and three variable simultaneous equations from the last uh, from the previous two lessons so if you haven't done that make sure you go back and have a look so here is our matrix equation and what we want to do is we want to solve for X okay we want to find out what matrix X equals solve for matrix matrix X so how do we find out what X is well using Gaussian elimination the first thing we do is we write an augmented matrix augmented matrix with a solid straight line in the middle so we skip writing X and then we write the matrix on the right and then the point of this augmented matrix is that it doesn't matter how we alter the the ma this matrix as long as we do it to the whole row okay so we could go row 1 times 3 minus row 2 as long as we do it to the whole row when we separate the matrix again okay if we separate the matrix so let's say I'm just gonna roll to multiply row 1 I'm just gonna multiply row 1 by 2 okay so if I multiply row 1 by 2 then I will get negative 2 um, 4 0 4 uh, sorry 0 8 so I've multiplied each number here by 2 and then 1 3 5 1 now let's say if I decide to separate the matrix now okay negative 2 4 1 3 multiplied by x will equal to 0, 8, 5, 1. Okay, so basically what this means is that we can play around with our augmented matrix so that the left hand side, okay, this matrix here, if we can somehow make this left hand side matrix um, 1, 1, 0, 0 in other words the identity matrix if we can somehow turn this left hand side into 1100 0, 0, then when we separate it out okay we will know what matrix X equals whatever here on the right hand side let's say 3 4 5 7 whatever is here on the right hand side will be matrix X right because X times the identity is going to equal uh, matrix X right so basically to solve this equation all we need to do is play around with Gaussian elimination to turn the left hand side to turn the left hand side of this augmented matrix into an identity matrix so let's try to see if we can do that so I've written it out for you here turn left hand side into identity matrix okay now this is row 1 this is row 2 and as you know the identity matrix has a 0 on the bottom left so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go row 2 plus row 1 okay and what does that do well row 1 stays the same row 2 plus row 1 so 1 plus negative 1 is 0 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 0 is 5 1 plus 4 is 5 okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, change the number 2 into a 0 basically I want to get all the zero sorted first so then I'm going to do row 1 times 5 minus um, 
minus rho 2 times 2. So I'm just going to do I'm just going to do uh, 5 row 1. So row 1 times 5, so that will be negative 5, 10, 0, 20. So this is row 1, this is 5 row 1. Okay. Now I'm going to do 2 times row 2, so that will give me 0, 10, 10, 10. And then 5 row 1 minus 2 row 2. So the first row minus the second row. So negative 5 minus 0 is negative 5. 10 minus 10 is 0. 0 minus 10 is negative 10. 20 minus 10 is 10. OK, so that's my new row 1. And my row 2, I'm just going to write down the original row 2. OK, so 0, 5, 5, 5. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply row 1. I'm going to multiply row 1 by negative 1. And then I'm going to divide it by 5. So then row 1 will become um, 1. 0 times 1 negative 1 so it's 10 divided by 5 is 2 negative 2 and then row 2 what I'm gonna do is just divide it by 5 so it'll be 0 1 um, 1 1 okay now the left hand side has now turned into an identity matrix so what does that mean that means matrix X is equal to 2, negative 2, 1, 1. Now let's check if I'm right. So um, actually I missed the outer step. I should show you guys that if I separate this now, okay, it'll be 1, 0, 0, 1 times x will be equal to 2, negative 2, 1, 1. So therefore, matrix X equals 2, negative 2, 1, 1. So in order to show you guys that it's true, okay, I'm going to cut down this question and put it down the bottom here. And then let's just try it out. So negative 1, 2, 1, 3 multiply by 2, negative 2, 1, 1 and then see if it is equal to 0, 4, 5, 1 okay I'm gonna use GeoGebra to help me do that okay so I'm gonna enter the matrices into GeoGebra I've actually already done it but I'll show you guys how to do it so I'm going um, braces braces negative 1 2 comma in the second brace 1 3 that'll create the first matrix and then the second matrix two braces inside the first brace 2 bracket uh, 2 comma negative 2 inside the second brace 1 1 so that those are my two matrices at the front and now let's multiply them together so just type in matrix 1 times matrix 2 and I get matrix 3 which is 0, 4, 5, 1 which is the answer. Okay, so I've successfully solved for X using Gauss 